Let's chat about the viral coefficient formula. And this is a formula where you can actually calculate the virality of your product, your website, your web page, anything, video. How does it go? So the coefficient is the invitation rate, rate multiplied by the acceptance rate. What does that mean? Well, you got to figure out how many of your current visitors, customers are inviting their friends, right? That's important. And how many of those invites are resulting in actual signups and people coming in, right? And this, this is how you, the other two lines here are how you find the number, th those uh, ratios. This is how you find the invitation rate and this is how you find the acceptance rate. Now, having this number all in itself doesn't do you a whole lot of good, right? By the way, the idea of this coefficient is, is is if you end up with a result that's one or greater, that means you're going to keep on getting and getting customers from the ones you already have. But if your coefficient is less than one, at some point you'll stop getting clients, right? Because there's not going to be an, in, enough of a virality factor to keep on generating more invites. But the real trick is you need to increase the number of people who are sharing, who are inviting, and you need to increase the number of people who are accepting and not just the number of people, the percentage of people, right? So how do we do this? This is really the core thing that you have to figure out how to do for your particular video, web page, website, product, anything. So of course, the first and most important thing is you have to improve your product or web page, right? The better it is, the more likely people will share. That's, that's a no brainer, right? Um, you know, the, or maybe the more, it evokes emotion, the more it evokes response, the more it makes a connection with the person, the more likely that person will share it with their friends. No brainer. Um, harder to do in real life than saying it, but at the same time, it's easy to understand that concept. Another thing to increase the sharing is simply making stronger calls to action for people to share, right? For people to invite friends. And sometimes you can make stronger calls to action, but at the same time, you can have more call to actions for this at different parts of your product, web page, you know, whatever your thing, the thing you want to be more viral. And to amplify that even more, you can give incentives for sending those extra invites, right? Like, you know, earn, people can earn points, people can get access to a certain feature, people can get a, maybe some percentage off, whatever. As long as you give invites, people will share and this will increase the sharing rate, right? Now, so people are sharing. We have a lot of tips for, for how to get people to share our web page or product. But at the same time, we've got to get those people who are sharing the invites that they get. Sometimes if it's generated from our website or our email, they must be very highly uh, converting emails or invite messages or something like that. And then when people come to our product, our product must also uh, convert highly, the, the convert um, visitors to customers or visitors to whatever that you need those people to do on your site or product. You, so your product must also convert. That's, that includes writing better sales copy that sells, having nicer design, all that kind of stuff that makes, you know, having good reviews if, if, you, if your product has reviews and basically making your product shine and be and selling it so that a lot, a lot of people convert into sales. And when you do that, you get more sales, more customers. Those guys will share more, bring new customers and your viral coefficient will go up, 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 up. And at some point it will just become viral. So virality is not something you hope for. You build it incrementally. And so that's kind of how you do that. Um, so in my, my advice, would be this. You can't make everything viral. You can make everything a little more viral. So you can do that. Focus on doing this to all your pages, websites, whatever. But here's the key. Sometimes we have some things that are almost viral, right? Where the coefficient is almost like almost one, but not quite. But if you make it, just do enough to make it more than one, you know, better messages, better sales, copy more invites, more, 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 more. You can push that over one and then it, that thing will just take off. 
and that's ideal that's really cool um, so always get people to share and make sure that everything you have where people land and come in contact with your site or page is highly converting highly converting means good reviews good social proof um, good sales copy and everything else and by the way I'm going to talk about how to create social proof I'm going to talk about how to create better sales copy I'm going to talk all of the about all of the elements of conversion uh, later in this course so we'll, we'll have all of that so don't worry uh, for now this this was uh, essentially how to think about the virality of every product or website that or web page that you have